hi everyone in today's video we will learn some uh, basic math lessons for uh, mariners and seafarers who have probably been uh, away from math uh, as a subject for a number of years or probably are weak in math or want to relearn or remember some essential concepts so today's video is part one and i plan to make a series of videos which will help you to understand principles of mathematics which you can then apply to other subjects like celestial navigation ship stability or engineering subjects all right so let's get started in today's video we will be learning how to apply the principles of board mass or bid mass to basic math equations all right in this regard i'll explain what is board mass and bid mass and i will take up a number of examples till the time you are absolutely sure in how to apply these principles so let's get started so today's lesson is on board mass or bid mass now what is board mass board mass is actually an acronym which can be expanded so what does b in board mass stand for it stands for brackets what is brackets so let's say you have 4 plus 2 multiplied by 3 and i have put 2 multiplied by 3 in brackets all right so if you have such an equation board mass or the b in board mass brackets means that the brackets needs to be solved first all right so this means this equation will be solved in such a way 4 plus 2 multiplied by 3 is 6 and which equals 4 plus 6 which is equal to 10 all right so you will not add 4 to 2 first no that is wrong you will be solving the bracket first before you solve the rest of the problem all right now before i go ahead we also have something called bid mass and bid mass is very similar to board mass depends on what you have been taught so in bid mass as well b stands for brackets and which we have covered all right the next thing in board mass is o which stands for order in bid mass we don't have o but we have something called i which stands for indices now the meaning here is pretty much the same although the term is different now what is order or indices let's take an example let's say you have 4 plus 2 square minus 3 all right or let's say you have 4 multiplied by 2 square minus 3 all right doesn't matter what equation we have i just don't want to keep on taking plus and minus uh, i want to take something different so i thought i'll take up a different example so let's say this example is here so what does this mean this means that if you do not have brackets the next thing you should be looking for in the equation is either order or indices so one example of order or indices is that you should be solving this first if you have a square or a cube or a cube root or a square root so this is called a square root so square root of 4 is 2 all right cube root of 27 is 3 this is we write like this right so cube root of 27 is 3 so something like that so we have to solve these first before we can go and solve the rest of the equation so in this case of course before you solve the equation you have to solve the indices first so this becomes 4 multiplied by 2 square which is 4 again minus 3 and then we solve the rest of the equation how we do that we'll come to that later on all right so i'm just taking step by step so this is order or indices order or indices also mean if you have a division or a multiplication written next to one another you will complete them left to right all right so let's take an example so in this case if you have 4 multiplied by 4 minus 3 how will you solve the rest of the equation you will see whether multiplication comes first or subtraction comes first in board mass or bid mass so if you see board mass or bid mass you will see that multiplication m m comes before subtraction before s 
right so you will multiply this first before you subtract so 4 minus 4 multiplied by 4 becomes 16 minus 3 will be equal to 13 so multiplication m comes first and then subtraction so you will follow the order of board mass or bid mass when it's multiplication and subtraction however if it's multiplication and division or if it's addition or subtraction in the equation next to one another you will not follow the order of board mass you will solve the equation left to right all right i'll show you an example don't worry i'll take up lots of examples all right so stay patient keep watching and you will understand so if you have multiplication and division next to one another or subtraction and addition next to one another in the equation do not follow board mass because they have the same weight according to board mass so do not follow the order of board mass where you will add first and then subtract or you will multiply or divide first and then multiply based on board mass you will go left to right i will take up a few examples all right well let's keep going with our learning so this is also principles of order this is also according to order or indices all right so this is also order or indices all right so order also means that multiplication and division have the same weightage addition and subtraction have the same weightage all right so as we go along i'll show you examples all right let's go ahead, keep going so now after brackets and order we have solved indices as well so let's go with the order so the order is first is division that is d in both the board mass and bid mass then you have multiplication then you have addition and then you have subtraction this is pretty much the same in bid mass as well all right so what is board mass and what is bid mass board brackets order division multiplication addition and subtraction all right so let's take a few examples so that you understand how to apply these all right so let's take the first example here so what's the first example here so let's take example number one let's take the simplest of examples six plus three multiplied by five all right now according to board mass or bid mass it doesn't matter what do we do now you i told you that addition and subtraction and division and multiplication have the same weightage and if you see them written next to one another you will go left to right but here you don't have addition and subtraction you have addition and multiplication so in this case you will apply the principles of board mass so according to board mass first comes first we have multiplication that comes first m comes first and then you have addition addition comes next so how will you solve this equation 6 plus multiplication first so 3 multiplied by 5 is 15 and then of course addition so 6 plus 15 is 21 all right let's take another example here 3 plus 2 multiplied by 7 what comes first multiplication comes first so multiplication is first and addition comes next so addition will be next so how do we solve this 3 plus 2 multiplied by 7 gives us 14 which is equal to 17 all right let's take example 3 now and we'll have to remember what board mass stands for so i keep writing board mass here so that you remember the order and example number 3 is 3 multiplied by 4 plus 2 plus 5 square now here you can apply the principles of board mass right so what comes first brackets comes first so what will i be solving first i should be solving the bracket first right so when i solve the bracket of course i mean i will make sure i get rid of the bracket so what does this mean 3 multiplied by 4 plus 2 is 6 right so i will get rid of the bracket i will add 4 plus 2 and this is 6 so don't think we are adding first no we are getting rid of the bracket first so we can only get rid of the bracket when we solve what is inside the bracket so first is bracket so 3 multiplied by 6 plus 5 square 
now if we have this equation what is the first thing we have to solve is order or indices which is solving the square root of any number square of any number should be solved first right so we leave 3 multiplied by 6 plus 5 square gives us 25 5 square is 5 multiplied by 5 which is 25 now if I have multiplication and addition in the same equation they are not of the same weightage so what comes first we have multiplication that comes first right this comes first so we'll be solving this first so 3 multiplied by 6 is 18 plus 25 and then of course we get this is equal to 43 so we solve the bracket first then we solve the order or the indices then we solve the multiplication and then we solve the addition all right let's take one more example and this example will be a bit tricky for you because this will show you how to apply the order if we have addition and subtraction next to one another or if we have division and multiplication one to next to one another all right this is the equation now if i 5 minus 2 plus 6 divided by 3 so if i apply the principles of board mass here do we have a bracket no we don't do we have any square root or square number no we don't so what's the first thing we have is division so we will be dividing first right because that's the next thing after bracket and order so this equation becomes 5 minus 2 plus 6 divided by 3 is what 2 all right now here is the tricky part and this is the part you have to remember remember i told you at the very beginning here see here i told you if you have a plus and minus next to one another they are of the same weightage you will not go as per the board mass rules then or if you have multiplication and division again you will not go from the board mass rules you will solve the equation left to right i should have written left to right not left or right left to right all right left to right so what does this mean 5 minus 2 will be solved first left to right i am going from left to right left to right all right so it doesn't matter so although we have minus and plus here and if i go as per board mass i should be adding before i subtract but because adding and subtraction is having the same weightage when they are written next to one another you will be solving it left to right so what happens when we solve left to right so 5 minus 2 all right let me write it with another pen here so 5 minus 2 will be solved first before i go and solve the rest so 5 minus 2 is what 3 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 all right although if i had applied principles of board mass then i would have gone 5 minus 2 plus 2 4 is equal to 1 that would be incorrect so here if i apply 5 minus 2 plus 2 so this becomes 5 minus 4 is equal to 1 this would be incorrect because you might say that why don't we add first and then subtract because that's what board mass says no because when you have subtraction and addition next to one another or you have division and multiplication next to one another those are the only two left then they are of the same weightage and you will solve them left to right all right let's take some more examples we'll keep taking examples till the time it becomes very clear to you as to what has to be done all right so let's take example number five and i can make the video very long so i will take more examples in future but let me take a slightly longer example here so we have three multiplied by two minus four all right then we have minus five minus two then we have minus 6 plus 3 minus 8 right and then we have plus minus 12 plus 22 so now this is a bit long and slightly complicated right but there's nothing complicated about it you just have to go as per the principles of board mass and remember brackets first so we go with solving the brackets first so what happens here we have 3 2 minus 4 is what minus 2 then minus 5 minus 2 is 3 we are solving the brackets first right we are solving the brackets first minus 6 plus 3 minus 8 right so plus and minus we have plus and minus here in the same equation we'll go left to right right left to right is 
6 plus 3 is 9 minus 8 all right then plus we have minus 12 plus 22 what is that it's positive 10 all right 9 minus 8 also now you know i don't want to solve it in steps 9 minus 8 as you know is what is the answer it's 1 all right now that we have solved it we have solved the brackets what's the next thing we have order but we don't have any square root or square number or something like that so we can leave it the next is division we don't have any division either but then we have multiplication so we have multiplication here so we have to first solve this all right so what is 3 multiplied by minus 2 is minus 6 then we can write the rest of it minus 3 we can get rid of the brackets minus 1 plus 10 now you see we have subtraction and addition right but we have subtraction and addition in the same equation written next to one another so we'll be solving this left to right we will not be following principles of board mass and doing the addition before subtraction we'll be solving it go left to right left to right all right so how do we go left to right minus six minus three what is it minus six minus three is minus nine minus one plus ten what is minus nine minus one it's minus ten plus ten and what is minus 10 plus 10 is equal to 0 all right so we solved the bracket first we made sure we solved the bracket first then because there was no indices no square root no cube root we got rid of the multiplication because as long as the multiplication is there we have to apply principles of board mass when we got rid of the multiplication here we only have addition and subtraction in the equation and i've told you when there is addition and subtraction left or when there is multiplication and division left right next to one another you will be solving equation left to right and not going as per board mass let's take one final example to show you what i mean by division and multiplication next to one another right so again i will write board mass and as you know as per principles of board mass division should come before multiplication right so what i will do is I will write here 6 divided by 3 multiplied by 4 right now if I do 6 divided by 3 multiplied by 4 here we have division and multiplication next to one another we there is no addition no subtraction so they have the same weightage so we will forget about board mass we will go left to right right so what is left to right 6 divided by 3 multiplied by 4 so 6 divided by 3 is 2 multiplied by 4 is equal to 8 so 6 divided by 3 is 2 multiplied by 4 is 8 even if i change the order here if i made it 6 multiplied by 4 divided by 6 all right or divided by 3 let me change the order here instead of uh, let's not have the same number repeating itself let me write some other number here i'll put here now all the principles of board mass says you must divide before you multiply but when we have divide and multiply i will go left to right i will not divide first as per board mass i will go left to right so what is 6 multiplied by 4 it's 24 divided by 3 is equal to 8 all right so whenever you have multiplication and division only in the equation next to one another you will go left to right and when you have only division or addition and subtraction next to one another in the equation you will go left to right otherwise you will always follow principles of board mass all right solve the bracket first and then solve any square root cube root or cube or square and then go as per division multiplication addition and subtraction but do not forget this rule here all right and this rule here so guys uh, watch this video and let me know if you have any other doubts in board mass and bid mass application to math equation and i'll be very happy to address it i will make more videos on this i am i have come to know that some of you are struggling with some basic math problems so please let me know and i'll be happy to address it thank you for watching this video and I look forward to hearing from you in the comments section.